Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, okay, I'm not gonna say this again because I'm gonna probably say that I'm doing this intro for like the millionth time. This is my fifth try on doing this intro. I don't know why, but hopefully this time I'm not gonna mess up. Anyways, today the topic of the video is, you know, I've been getting some positive feedback on my review video so I decided that I'm gonna come with another review video it's not bad right if I do another review video you guys enjoy them so I should probably continue doing them uh, and I have many ideas for them today we're going to review the Apple TV you will see now here on the bottom that I have the small Apple TV so this is the Apple TV this is the small little thing uh, the Apple TV. So it's really nothing. It's so small that if I compare it Let's move this and if I compare it, it's like my hand It's like my hand. It's really that small like my hand. It's very small very very small Now so this is the whole box. Okay, this is it this is nothing, it's just a simple little box, nothing really special. But then you have all of these outputs in the back. Alright. And as you can see you have the you know you have the power over here. Uh, and then you have the like, HDMI like here. Okay? And then you have the Ethernet right over here. So that's perfect! Uh, you can plug whatever you want, and this, I think you can plug your phone or something. This is something Apple device, I don't really know anymore. But yeah, this is it. So this is the Apple TV, uh, it's perfect, small, you can do whatever you want. And what I'm amazed that this little box has everything that you need to it. Uh, to, to watch Netflix, YouTube, or whatever you want. Uh, and also, you can airplay uh, from your phone, iPad, or whatever device. So that's pretty cool, and we're gonna get into that shortly. Now, let's go plug the TV, like the, the small Apple TV, to a TV, and let's see what's gonna happen. We've got all our Apple TV stuff we need right over here. So we have the Ethernet cable, we have the HDMI cable and the power cable, so that's all we need to plug the Apple TV, alright? So these are all the three cables we need. Now if we take the Apple TV, we just need to do is plug the HDMI, alright? Plug the power, okay, from this side, and the Ethernet. So now we just kind of organize the cables and there. So here is the Apple TV plugged, all the cables, perfect. Now one more thing I want to mention really quickly is that if you don't have an Ethernet cable coming to your living room or to your room or whatever, you can of course use Wi-Fi because the Apple TV has Wi-Fi in it. So you can connect Wi-Fi if you have Wi-Fi home. Now, the great thing you also get with your Apple TV is this cool remote uh, that comes with it, of course, but you can also buy it if you want to have 16 of them. But you have this remote, you have the menu button over here. That's like, I'll show you all these buttons. This is kind of like the home button on an iPhone, this one. Uh, then this one's for Siri, of course. Uh, the volume buttons, plus and minus, and pause button. This remote is pretty straightforward, and then you have the push button here, uh, where you push whatever you want to do and select. Alright, so now what we need to do is just press this button, and it's going to turn on the TV and the Apple TV as well, once it's plugged. So, so as you can see, uh, we are at the App Store now for some reason. Uh, I don't know why, but you control the TV by just swiping on this kind of swipe button, like this swipe, and to select, for example, if you want to select Netflix, you just push the button, you open it, so it's pretty straightforward here. And then to go back, you just have to push the menu button 
like that and you're gonna go back right there you go and now this is the main screen uh, so basically I this is new so I don't have Netflix yet but I have YouTube uh, you have music podcast search settings computers App Store iTunes iMovies and all these things also photos so pretty much good things uh, and all you control everything with this remote so it's pretty simple uh, now yeah pretty simple now you can control with Siri by pushing that button here and you speak and that's it so that's your TV pretty straightforward nothing really special uh, but it's it's great now let's try the airplay so many of you want to once in a while just use your phone and like make it on a big put it on a bigger screen and show people not your only your phone but maybe like put it on the TV so the Apple TV is perfect for that because you can stream music or whatever you want uh, to your Apple TV from your iPhone or iPad or whatever all right so you take your phone uh, in my case an iPhone and you unlock your iPhone uh, and basically you just what you do is kind of if you have iOS 10 you just go up with your finger like that so you swipe so you're going to have airplane mirroring here so you click on that and you're gonna get uh, if you have multiple devices all of them will pop up here but I have only the Apple TV so if you push the Apple TV uh, you see it's gonna switch to Apple TV over here and now normally on the other camera you should see that there is my screen from my phone so that's pretty perfect so now whatever I do you will see it on the Apple TV so I can just swipe like this I can do whatever I want and it's going to be there so even if you want to like stream some music or something or whatever you can do this so that's pretty perfect right and then to just disable it you just have to click on it again and then just turn off airplane mirroring. And now on the other camera you're gonna see we are back to the Apple TV main screen. So that's perfect, right? The airplane mirroring is really good because you can stream music as I said, you can even watch some TV show or movie that you have in your phone. So you can do many, many things with that to your Apple TV. Now the last thing is I would wanna say before I say the verdict of it uh, is to switch it off you just take your remote, the remote over here, and what you do, and you hold this button here for a long period of, like not a little bit, just a little longer than usual. It's going to show you something like this. Sleep now, okay, this will turn off any connected devices, and then you just press OK, and it's going to shut down the TV and the Apple TV with it. All right. So now the moment you've been waiting for is my thoughts about it. I think it's really, it's a really good thing to have in your house because you can just, it's a smart TV instead of buying a smart TV you just add this small addition to your TV. Uh, it's, it's just perfect. You can watch YouTube, Netflix, whatever you want and it, it works. You can do AirPlay. I just think for the money it is, it's worth it uh, and I mean everything I have is worth it I think uh, but yeah so I think you should get it if you really want to watch TV uh, like Netflix or YouTube in your bed on the TV uh, and to transform your old TV to a, a smart TV but anyway guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like down below it will be greatly appreciated and yeah take care and I'll see you in the next video Ooh.